At Northumberland Water, we charge you for both water and sewerage services. The charge for water is typically just under 50% of your bill. The sewerage charges cover the removal and treatment of all of the dirty water that leaves your home and enters the sewers. Also, all of the rainwater from your property which enters the surface water and highway drains. The type of bill you receive depends on whether you are billed for metered usage or on an unmetered charge. Put simply, if you're on a meter, you get billed for what you actually use, whereas those on unmetered water supplies get charged a flat rate regardless of what they use. All domestic customers can choose to have a meter fitted and usually this is free of charge. Being billed in this way can help you control your water use and the great thing is it can also save you money. For customers that don't have a meter, your charges are based on a rateable value. Rateable values took into account many factors including the size of the property, the number of rooms, location of the home and local amenities. This was the value councils used to charge before 1990 and it is not linked to the council tax banding. I'm going to explain about the bills themselves now but if you want additional information about the process behind billing both off what our regulators and our own website have more information. The first thing to take note of is the customer reference number. It's unique to your account and what you should have to hand if ever you need to contact us. Next to it you'll see the bill number which is handy for keeping them in chronological order and also for filing purposes. You can now manage your account online. If you're not already registered why not do so whilst you're online today. You can also use our automated telephone service to pay a bill 24 hours a day. If you do need to call us, the numbers and details are provided here. This is where we post the bill to and it may be the same as the property address listed just below. Now and again, people ask us to send bills to a different address than to the property address, such as landlords or letting agencies. This information is the same for all customers. If you have a water meter installed, then your bill will have a section like this, which details information about your meter. The meter serial number is totally unique. The meter size depends on the size of your water supply pipe and the volume of water we estimate you would use. The reading dates show the date we read the meter or when you provide us with a meter reading. We will try to read your meter each time. The usage is calculated in cubic metres. One cubic metre is the same as a thousand litres or just under 220 gallons of water. This is the same amount as about 24 baths full of water. If you don't have a meter you won't see this information. A breakdown of how your charges are calculated is shown next on the bill. Your water has a fixed charge which applies regardless of the volume of water you use and for metered customers this depends on the size of your meter. There's another charge shown and in the case of metered customers it is the amount of water used or consumption multiplied by the cost per cubic meter. For unmetered customers it's based on the rateable value which I explained a little earlier. The same principles apply to sewerage rates in terms of fixed charges and usage or rateable value. It is possible to claim an allowance if you can show that all of your surface water goes somewhere else other than our sewers. The total due is calculated and shown just below the breakdown in bigger letters. Metered customers can either pay each time they receive a bill using the payment slip at the bottom or they can set up a monthly budget payment plan. We calculate the monthly payment plan taking into account last year's usage and by adding any balance due. Unmetered customers can either pay twice a year on the 1st of April and the 1st of October 
or they can spread their bill over 10 monthly instalments. If a payment plan is set up mid-year, the number of instalments set will be reduced accordingly and be the number left until the next bill is produced. And finally, do you know that if you pay by direct debit, you can save up to £7 a year off your bill. The discount will be applied to your next bill after you have set this up. I hope that this has helped to explain how your bill is created and what all the individual parts of the bill are for. If you do have any other questions about billing, you can search on our website or call us and we'll be happy to help.